Hello. In this video, we're going to be talking about ratios. Ratio problems ask you to compare quantities of various items and answer questions about them. Most ratio questions can be easily solved if you create a chart with the quantities you know and the quantities you want to find. So let's look at how to find uh, the missing total for a ratio question. Most ratio questions will give you the two parts. What we're calling here in the missing total or the missing number is essentially just adding those two parts together. So if a problem said that the ratio of cars to trucks is 3 to 5, the missing number would be 8. The reason this is important is that often ratio questions will give you a new total. In this case, if I said there were 40 cars and trucks in the parking lot, the new total is 40. Using the old total of 8 and 40, we can create a ratio. 40 over 8 is now going to be equal to cars over 3, which is going to be equal to trucks over 5. This would allow us to solve by cross-multiplying cars equals 15 and trucks equals 25. Notice that the ratio of 40 to 8, which is 5, is the same as cars to, to 3, 15 to 3, which is also 5, which is the same as 25 to 5, which is also 5. So essentially, we're just trying to say, how much did they change one of the three numbers? And normally, they're going to change the total. And that's why it's important that we find that missing total. So it's often helpful to create a chart with, with which to represent the numbers involved. So an example here, we say the ratio of goldfish to betas in Bobby's aquarium is 3 to 2. If Bobby has a total of 45 fish, how many are betas? So again, what we're going to do here is find the missing total. In this case, it's 5. We're going to write the 45 below the 5. And then the key here is finding what, is, what do we need to multiply 5 by to get to 45. The answer is 9. You can think of the 5 as like a bag of, gold, of fish. It has 3 goldfish and 2 betas. So to get to 45, essentially we're saying we need 9 bags of fish. Well, that multiplier 9 is what we need to apply to the 2 smaller parts, goldfish and betas, to find out what they are uh, equal to in the larger set. So we multiply the 3 by 9 to say there are 27 goldfish, and then we multiply the 2 by 9 to say there are 18 betas. So in this case, if we want the number of betas, the answer is 18. Ratio, ratio, ratio. Now, if, uh, if you've looked at our Math Traps video, we also go through this there. The idea here is that oftentimes you'll be given two ratios, and e each ratio will have a common part something like red to blue and blue to yellow, or dogs to cats and cats to people. So the idea here is if you want to go across the ratio, so if it's A to B and then B to C, and you want to go from A to C, you have to make sure that the common term B is the same. So let's see how that works here. So if I say in Parker's marble collection, the ratio of red to blue marbles is 5 to 2, and the ratio of blue marbles to yellow marbles is 3 to 4, what is the ratio of red to yellow marbles? So hint here, the answer is not 5 to 4. If it was, you'd basically be ignoring the 2 and the 3 and, and basically saying they could be anything. But that's simply not true. So the first thing we need to do is change the two ratios so that the same quantity, or the blue quantity, is the same in both. So we do that by changing the 2 and the 3 to be both 6. And this is just like changing a fraction. If we multiply the 2 by 3, we need to multiply the 5 by 3 to have 15 to 6. And if we multiply the 3 by 2, we need to multiply the 4 by 2 to get 6 to 8. Now we have red to blue is 15 to 6, blue to yellow is 6 to 8. Now that the middle term 6 is the same, we can go across from red to yellow, and thus the answer would be 15 to 8. So remember, if you're given two ratios, A to B and B to C, you can only compare A to C directly once B is the same. So let's look at a, uh, a practice problem here. The ratio of dogs to cats in Bobby's pet store is 4 to 7. If Bobby has a total of 55 cats and dogs, how many are cats? So first thing we need to do is find the missing number. So to do that, we simply add the 4 and the 7 to get 11. The next thing we do is divide 55 by 11, essentially saying we need five sets of 11 to get to 55. And lastly, we just multiply the 4 by 5 to get 20 dogs and the 7 by 5 to get 35 cats. And since we want the number of cats, the answer here is E, 35. Let's look at a practice problem involving the ratio-ratio issue. If the ratio of cats to dogs is 3 to 5, and the ratio of dogs to people is 6 to 7, what is the ratio of cats to people? So again, we can't just say the answer is 3 to 7. We have to make the common term the same. So first, we're going to turn the 5 and the 6 into 30. So to do that, we, we multiply the first ratio by 6, it's going from 3 to 5 to 18 to 30. And then we multiply the second ratio by 5, going from 6 to 7 to 30 to 35. Now the common term, which in this case is dogs, is the same, 30. And now we can simply go from cats to people, which would be 18 to 35. And thus our answer here is C. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video on ratios, and hope to see you soon in some of our other videos.
Thanks.